welcome everybody to Majora's Mask, part number two. I'm Cal's Crazy. Wait, wait, hang on. Please don't stop the video yet. You just started it. I, this guy doesn't suck that bad at LPing. Such a big body and such little legs. This is my private property. Don't try to use it when I'm not around. But please continue to watch this video because, well, like I said, he's not that bad at LP. So anyways, here we are. This is... Clump? No, I tried to think of something. I was trying to think of something funny to call the town, but... Yeah, I, I can't use Clump Town. That's just already been used before, so that's not funny. Anyways, there were different sections of Clock Town here. And, um... I don't know. So there's North Clock Town. Do they really name, like, do they build the clock first and then call it Clock Town? Anyways, that's Tingle. He's a loser. Look at him in his red underpants. Oh god, this is the first appearance of Tingle and... I've hated him ever since. And so has most of the world. But if you're a Tingle fan, then, well, here he is. What's this? Green clothes? White fairy? Sir? Could you, by chance, be a forest fairy? <gasps> Am I? <laughs> My name is Tingle. I think I am the same as you, sir. A forest fairy. Alas, though I am already aged 35, no fairy has come to me yet. <laughs> yeah, it's almost the same age as me. I was pretty sad. My father tells me to grow up and act my age, but why? I tell you, Tingle is the very reincarnation of a fairy. Now, while I stand here waiting for a fairy of my own, I sell maps to help up my father. Lucky, lucky! You're so lucky to have a fairy, I know, I know! We should be friends. Yes, yes, in exchange, I will sell you a map for cheap as a sign of my friendship. Will you buy one of Tingle's maps? Depends on how much they cost. Clark Town, five bucks. What the hell? Yippee! Yippee ki yay, motherfucker! <laughs> yes, we got a map clock down. Sweet. Okay. Well, call again. Yeah, uh. Tingle, tingle, call loompa loompa! What a loser. These are the magic words that Tingle created himself. That's. Don't. St I don't want to steal them. They're not worth anything to me. Anyways, we're gonna go around and. We were told to go and meet the great fairy. So that's the first thing we're gonna do. The fairy's fountain. That's not a great fairy, that's a little fairy's. Oh no, the great fairy! Where, where's the great fairy? These are little fairies. Young one, please hear my plea. I have been broken and shattered to pieces by the masked skull kid. Please find the one stray fairy lost in town and bring her to this fairy fountain. So, broken fairies, I'll tell you this right now, get used to them. And if you've never played this game before, I'm not going to treat you as such. I am not treating my viewers as somebody who has never ever played this game. So if you haven't played this game, then I'm sorry, but yeah, uh, we're going to go. I'm assuming most people have played or seen an LP of this game before. Of course, down below is the clock, and it will tell you what time it is and what day you're on. What well, first day, 11 a.m. And the sun is going around and around, and every rotation of the first is an hour. That's... So it takes... I don't know. You can time it out. So anyways, we're looking for the one fairy. The one fairy to put her back together. She's actually over this way. Ooh, the jugglers. Everybody in this town is probably going to be familiar to you from Hyrule. And I like to think of it as, like I said, dimensional shifting. There was a show that was really bad, but yet really good at the same time that I used to like to watch. It was called Sliders. 
and they went from dimension to dimension where everybody was the same but different and blah blah blah. Yeah, it's all those kind of things. That's the way I like to think of it, is just another reality is where they are. This could have been Hyrule, it's just, it's not, it's different. Um, so now the fairy we want is actually, yeah, okay, the skull kid's gone too far, that's right, okay, blah blah blah. Okay, I'm trying to use up to look around. Fairy's supposed to be... Um... Shit, I forget where the fairy is. Oh, it's in the box, isn't it? No, it's not in the box. Uh-oh. I can't believe I'm forgetting where the fairy is already. Isn't it here? Oh no, it's not here! This is a different day! Oh, I'm so silly! I'm so silly! Yeah, the, the, the fairy changes its location, depending on what day you're on. And I don't know why it would take you more than the first day to even go looking for it, but I guess if you were looking around town or whatever, you might kill some time. Well, on the first day, the fairy should be over here. There it is. This is the laundry pool. I don't know why they call it the laundry pool. Like, are you supposed to be doing your laundry here? Please hear my plea, the masked skull kid has broken me apart and scattered my pieces. Please find a way to return me to the fairy fountain in North Clock Town. Find a way? Is it really that difficult? Just gotta go back there. Some people has not appeared yet. Um, we'll meet a guy sitting on this bench later. With some bugs walking around. There's nothing we can do with that yet. It's a frog guy. There's so much around here that you can take note of and look at and, and, and just be ready to deal with in the future. And, um, yeah, like I was saying, this game really broke the mold, um, for, like, making Zelda games, it really has made Zelda games more about side quests than actual dungeons and s stuff like that, which has greatly disappointed me, to be honest with you. Um, but this game didn't do it that badly. Um, for a game with only four dungeons in it, it actually keeps you quite busy, and it keeps you involved, and the, and the side quests are fun, and I care about the characters, and I want to do these things. Um, I cannot say that for all future Zelda games after this one. I cannot say that. So... Boom, 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 boom. Fairy time. She's gonna be hot, right? Oh no, she looks like- Oh, I almost didn't want to put her back together, it's, it's Mrs. Pointy Boobs. <laughs> Tattle, you young one of the altered shape, thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. I'm the great fairy of magic, I thought that masked child was helping me, and I grew careless. All I can offer you now is this I shall grant you magic power as a sign of my gratitude please accept it wow we get the power of magic already we didn't get that till after the second dungeon in Ocarina of Time so we're off to a good start here He's not holding anything above his head, but yet, somehow Link just feels like he needs to look to the skies and raise his hands whenever he gets something. <laughs> yep. Okay, so, not only with this magic power, it's a magic bar, but we get the power to shoot bubble blasts here. Um, I don't know why Dekus have a bubble blast. It's some kind of booger nose, I guess, I don't know. So, you can shoot out your nose a bubble. The man who lives in the observatory outside my town may know the Skull Kid's whereabouts, but be careful. You must not underestimate that child's powers, kind young one. If you ever... Oh, if ever you <laughs> returned to your former shape, come see me. I shall give you more help. More help? I would love to have more help, but apparently she doesn't want to give it to me in the current shape I'm in. My sh she doesn't like my shape. My friend Calhoun, he has a shape. We can we can recognize the shape of Calhoun miles away. So anyways, she says to go and visit an observatory outside of town. 
So, let's head out. <gasps> Look at this guy's blocking me though. Wait a moment, Deku Scrub. Have you earned some errand in the mountains? It is dangerous outside the town walls, so I cannot allow a child like you to go out alone. Until you are old enough to carry a weapon, you cannot pass through here without being accompanied by an adult. An adult? An adult? Really? So, we can't leave town. And we can hear the clock. We can hear the clock town. Night of the first day. 60 hours remain. Ooh, boy. So it's now nighttime on day number one. On that clock sound, you can hear basically anywhere you go. Ooh, piece of... The great... F yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's nice. We gotta find a way to the observatory. Well, there's no way to leave town. Unless you glitch the game, of course. So the only way to the observatory is through another route. An underground route. And yes, there's a piece of a heart. But I don't think we can get that just yet. This looks to be some kind of playground. It's like a slide, maybe. Whee! So what you eventually gotta figure out is that this kid here is trying to break this balloon, which is a Majora's Mask balloon. Which is weird. I don't know why. So the Majora's Mask must come from this region. So let's break the balloon for him. With our boogers. He's excited now. He's like, how did that thing break? Who broke it? I did. And you the one who just popped that up there? Not bad for a Deku scrub. <laughs> we bombers have a hideout that leads to the observatory outside town. You need a code to get in. Maybe I'll tell you what it is. But don't think you're getting it that easily. I can't just tell you what the code is. You have to pass my test first. Are you ready? Sure. Alright, line up, guys! <laughs> if you can find all five of us by tomorrow morning, I'll teach you the code. Tomorrow morning? Do I do I have enough time? <laughs> Are you ready? Uh, I don't th I don't remember ever starting this quest at night. Do maybe I don't have enough time to do this. I don't know. But anyway, it's the first guy's right behind this tree. So just keep going. But there we go. Wow, bad camera angle. But there we go. We caught him. Four down. I mean, one down. Four to go. The other guy's hiding way back. Here. Oh no. There's somebody hiding back here. Oh, but there's the kid too. He's hiding with that pedophile back here. Where'd he go? Where'd that kid go? There we go. Chase after him. We must touch him. We must touch the child. Come here, little boy. I'm gonna touch your something. <laughs> no, no, hold it. Come here. Yeah, don't run out the door, otherwise, yeah, just, just wait for him to come running back to you. Don't run out the door, or it doesn't count. We'll talk more about that pedophile hiding back there a little later on in the game. And this guy doesn't count. He's the guard to the secret area, so he doesn't count. What you really want to do is come running up here. And this kid has a chicken. Oh my god, he has a chicken! Just go running after him. Oh, you caught me. Now there's only two of us left. Yeah, there is only two of us left. And from here you can see the other kid. He's standing way up there. Way up there. How'd he get up there at night? You have to go through the hotel, I guess. Oh yeah, that's that's the building he's on. Yet again. In case you didn't know, that's the hotel. So come over here and boom! Run away! You caught me now, there's only one left. One left. I don't know what this is here for. Some kind of a wake up bell or something? I don't know. It's kind of interesting. So we got one guy left and we gotta do it before the morn. Gotta do it before the morning comes. Gotta do it for the morning light. For the morning light comes down. West Clock Town. We're in the western land of Clock Town. Such strange music. People are weird around here, I'll tell you that right now. 
people are weird, but anyways, there's the kid. No way, you finally caught me! You're pretty good for it, thank you, scrub. If only you were human. They're so racist. They're so racist. Who taught them to be racist against the Deku scrubs? Then I can give you an original bomber's notebook and make you a member. What do you guys think? No way, no scrubs, no way, no scrubs, no way, no scrubs. I guess not. Once we let some kid who wasn't human join our gang and boy did we regret it. Sorry. But I'll teach you the code. Just like I promised. I can tell you, it only once though, so pay close attention. Are you ready? The code is 54123. Now this code will be different every time you play the game. So just because you know the code from my game, doesn't mean it's going to be the code in your game. So you ha every single time you play the game, the code is random and it's different. So you have to play the game. And this really is the only time they tell you, so you might want to write it down somewhere. But this code, luckily enough for me, is pretty easy to remember. 5, 4, 1, 2, 3. That's very simple for me to remember. The numbers could have been all over the place. It's, um, yeah, pretty Pretty silly. Five, four, one, two, three. So now that we know the code, we can head out through the secret passage to the observatory. And this kid, he's the guard. If you want to pass through here, you have to say the secret code. Is the secret code penis? <laughs> Five, four, one, two, three. Um, that's right. If you know the code, then you're a member, right? Okay. Here you go. Like, does he stand there all day making sure nobody else can go in? Like, that's got to be, like, so boring. <laughs> There's a lot of cool stuff that telescope guy's place. Oh, yeah, and, um, the Bomber Secret Society of Justice Forever. What's in this spooky little passageway? We'll find out in the next episode. Until then, everybody, I've been Cows Crazy. Please subscribe. Please leave a comment below. And, of course, move!